This is Temple OS. I'm going to cover 10 ways to do Hello World. So the command line feeds into a C compiler. So uh, the first way is to type in a program at the command line. Now, any statement outside of a function executes immediately. So if I say main 1, we got hello world. Okay. So, this is sitting in memory. Um, we can unassemble the function. It's compiled. It's not interpreted. And there it is. Uh, it calls calls print and there's the string following the function okay so the second way we don't need to say print we can just say a string by itself because in holy c a string by itself is printf so uh, now we say pound include hello o2 cpp.z Now we have to hit a semicolon because just because um, it the leg it, it analyzes the token ahead and uh, anyway that's a special quirk of the command line so let's let's Just for the fun of it, I'm showing you the ed command. Normally, you uh, okay. Anyway, so we don't need a main. We can just print a string by itself like this. So if I do a directory, do number three. So four. Um, now we're doing a function with a parameter, sending it to print. Or we can do a string by itself, percent %s, remember it, it's a printf, uh, then we're calling it, calling it and sending it a string. Now if, if you don't use a comma, then it treats it as the uh, first, uh, the format string, that's a slight variation. I'm just showing all the variations, so now we include, we got three hello worlds. Now we're on to number four. Uh, number five and this is assembly we have a string with a these don't have zeros at the end normally um, so we have to add the zero or we can include the zero this way now we're uh, we're making a global symbol with the colon colon a single colon is not a global symbol we're calling put s put string we have to save the, the RSI segment register, or not segment register, the RSI register. Um, then we're calling it. Now I'm going to hit F5 just for, uh, well, no, let's do it the other way. Um, if you hit F5, it executes immediately. Anyway, uh, that's the editor, similar to Visual C Studio. <coughs> so. We, um, if you don't use an ampersand, an ampersand is the same thing as an import. Um, we use an underscore just as a convention. It's not required for C callable functions. That's a C callable function. I put an underscore on it. Um, so we have an enter. This is an assembly. Uh, you probably have never heard of this assembly, x86 assembly command, enter and leave. This just sets up the stack frame, push BP, move BP, comma, SP. Anyway, um, so uh, we save the register. Now we're calling it. We well, we get the first uh, argument. Now we're binding underscore main to a C symbol, and then we're calling the C symbol. So now we hit just for just for fun. Let's let's get a list of uh, local symbols. So at this point in these are like environment variables scope it's a scope of environment variables so at this point we have this many symbols in our symbol table and we can browse them we can unassemble the the functions and stuff anyway so number seven number seven this is a uh, ahead of time compile 
we're telling it to include all the symbols in Adam's symbol table. Adam is the, the father of all tasks. He's like Adam and Eve. Anyway, uh, so we're going to ahead of time compile this. Now we have a number seven bin. We load it. Number eight. Instead of using the pound include, we're doing uh, uh, an import um, for instead of the pound include, add them ahead of time. Okay, so uh, now we ahead of time compile. Now we have to load the bin. Now we made a uh, oh we have to uh, we have to make a. Uh, I accidentally deleted that file. Ed. We have to make an X turn. Okay, so there's a header file for this uh, binary that creates C symbols. So uh, we include it. So uh, now we have a main eight, which is a valid. Okay, now number nine, we're going to, uh, we're, you know what we're going to do? We're going to uh, include it into Adam's symbol table. Adam is the father of all tasks. So this makes it system wide. This is like a DLL, you could say. Anyway, so uh, we uh, include, Adam include. Now I'm going to go over to this other task, this other task in uh, main 9 now it's in it's a system wide symbol going to come back here and number 10 okay we're doing a dot 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 function that creates you know like this in uh, C++ well, when you have a dot, 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 there's an arg C and an arg V automatically declared, just like this in C++. So I'm going to go ahead and, uh, so we're going to print the two strings as two arguments. I'm going to hit F5. There, it got hello world. Okay, so that's 10 different ways to do uh, hello world.